This documentary right here is absolutely amazing. Bitchin' the Sound and Fury of Rick James tells you everything you need to know about his rise to his success and his pitfalls as well. The director... An executive producer, Sasha Jenkins, assembled an impressive range of footage and commentators that will keep you engaged in doing a lot of dancing and a lot of reminiscing. And it's just this this documentary is just fun all the way around. The film is currently showing on Showtime right now, and it's also on Showtime on Demand. Now, at the height, and this is one of the things in the documentary that I found very, very interesting, but I also knew this going into the documentary as well. At the height of his chop topping career at Motown in the late 1970s through the early 1980s, Rick James was actually considered the artist that saved the huge giant label Motown because it was basically known as a 1960s label and then Motown found a hard way to make that transition navigating from 60s music into more of the 70s kind of funk music so once Rick James came on the scene I mean he actually truly did save that label bitching the sound of fury of Rick James this documentary gives us a lot um, it's Rick James' daughter, Ty James, she is also uh, the film's executive producer, and she offers insight into her father's demons, uh, on, screens, on, on screen comments from Bootsy Collins and Ice Cube, uh, reinforce James' creativity and influence that he had on music. His, and it also, this one thing I like about this documentary, it talks about his relationships and some of the women in his life, but it also goes heavily into his real relationship with Teen Marie. Everything about that particular relationship is revealed as well. Director Sasha Jenkins says that we wanted to give the people the full picture of who Rick was. He wasn't perfect. He did some horrible things, allegedly, keyword allegedly. For some, he was convicted. Growing up, he has some trauma and abuse. Maybe that informed some of the decisions that he made in his life. And that quote was from director Sasha Jenkins. Now, there's also more Rick James things to come in the future. Uh, his daughter, Ty, says that Rick James has almost over 100 songs. Ty says that we have probably over 100 or so tracks that have not been released, and we're excited to share these too. Ty also says that they're working on a biopic right now, and we plan on definitely using some of this these unreleased tracks for that biopic. And she also says that there's going to be a new EP from Rick James to come too. Rick James was truly a visionary and a mogul before that word and term was really used in the industry. I know in like the 90s, we were more familiar with the Sean Combs, the Puff Daddies and the Suge Knights. And then the 80s to a certain degree as well, when we had Prince being a visionary, Prince had artists up under his tutelage that he brought up that he produced like Morris Day in the Time, Vanity Six. But if you want to really be honest here and call it for what it is, Rick James was actually a mogul before all of these people, even slightly before Prince. Rick James, he brought up Tina Marie up under him and her in, in his tutelage. He produced her, made her, turned her into a megastar. The Mary Jane girls who don't get enough props as one of the most prolific female groups of the 1980s. Rick James, he produced and, and wrote all of their music sort of similar of what Prince did with Vanity Six. So, you know, Rick James is truly a mogul in the industry that was ahead of his time. That's one thing that I, I that really reinforced my thoughts on that. So definitely get a, ch a chance to check out this excellent, amazing documentary bitching on Showtime. It's AP and I will check y'all later. Peace, blessings and one love.